Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Pastor Anthony Menzel, and we are transmitting from northern New Jersey from Abundant Love Christian Church. Hallelujah. We're going to start off our service in prayer. Father God, we just praise you and we thank you right now, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray that nothing would come against this transmission this this morning, Lord God. Hallelujah. You remove every obstacle, hindrance, and distraction to this service, Father God, and that everybody will be blessed for participating in this service. And this will be a special encounter with you, Father. We thank you, Father, for all these things. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So now we're going to start off with a special selection by Sister Gabriela. God of Jacob, I to wear here in I love Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, 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 roar. Hail, hail, light of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, light of Judah. Let the lion roar, oh lion, bring praise up, oh fountain, be rain, Lord, oh valley, be rain, Lord, oh mountain, be rain, Lord, oh valley, be rain, Lord, oh mountain, be rain, Lord. Hail, hail, Lord of Judah, let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lord of Judah, let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lord of Judah, let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lord of Judah, let the lion roar. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, roar. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We just praise you and we thank you, Father. Such a blessing to hear the children. Hallelujah. Praising the Lord. And there is joy in my spirit this morning. Hallelujah. There's such joy. Hallelujah. We have so many things to pray about. But when we get a victory, we have to praise the Lord for that victory. And I know there's people that talk about the court, Supreme Court's recent decision on gun control. And there's concerns about that. But at the same time, hallelujah. Almost 50 years of abortion. And that has been 
largely roll back in Jesus Christ's name. Oh, and I just praise the Lord God for that this morning. We've been praying and fasting in our church and, and doing different activities to see this happen. And it has happened. That Roe versus Wade has been turned back. And we have to be prayerful that the, the, the legislature, that the Congress and the Senate will not pass legislation to make abortion a right. Hallelujah. That this will be something that's permanently illegal in the United States. But before we say those prayers, actually, yes, before we say those prayers, hallelujah, we're just going to enter into praise and worship. Because when God gives you a victory, amen, and just being saved is a victory, hallelujah, but when he gives you a victory, you've got to just praise him, amen, because sometimes those victories, they come, it takes a long time for them to come around, and so hallelujah, the Lord polishes us as we wait. Hallelujah, but I just have to sing this morning. I get joy, hallelujah, when I think about. I get joy when I think about what he done for me. So much joy when I think about what he done for me. I get happy when I think about what he done for me. So, so happy when I think about what he done for me. I start praising when I think about what he done for me. I start to praising when I think about what he done for me. I start shouting when I think about what he done for me. I start shouting when I think about what he done for me. You don't know like I know what he done for me. You don't know like I know what he done for me. You don't know like I know what he done for me. You don't know like I know what he done for me. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you for answering our prayers. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you for this manifestation about making abortion illegal. And we know that there's states, Father God, where it's still legal, Father God. Including New Jersey. But Lord God, we pray. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. That you would roll that back in Jesus Christ's name. Cover everybody participating in these intercessions with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and spirit, soul. Oh, and body, cover our loved ones, cover everything that has to do with us, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And Father God, make it a reality, Lord God, coast to coast, New Jersey, New York, the whole nation, no more abortion in Jesus Christ's name. Just like you did away with the slavery, Lord God, of blacks in this country, Father God. After 300 more years, Lord God, do away with abortion, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. This racist society institution where two time more black people and one and a half time more Latino people get have the babies, the rate of abortion is that much higher, Father God. Get rid of this horrible practice, Father God, in our nation, Lord God. Remit the blood, the innocent blood that's been shed. Oh, hallelujah, in Jesus Christ's name. Father God, we praise you and we thank you. Hallelujah, we sing in Jesus Christ's name. Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. You've been building your kingdom. Down. In 
Jesus Christ's name, we're gonna preach your kingdom down. You've been building your kingdom all in the house of God. Satan, we're gonna preach your kingdom down. The mother. Father, gonna pray your kingdom down. You've been building your kingdom all in the house of God. Satan, we're gonna pray your kingdom down. Got children, we're gonna praise your kingdom down. God's children, we're going to preach your kingdom down. You've been building your kingdom all over this land. Satan, we're going to praise your kingdom down. Hallelujah. Oh Hallelujah. 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 We just praise you. We're gonna pray at the end of the service. Hallelujah for our fasting. Oh But right now we just gotta praise the I just gotta praise the Lord. Hallelujah, because he gave us a victory. Amen. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Love, love is mine. Love is mine. Love today is mine. I told Satan, get be behind love today is mine joy joy is mine joy is mine joy today is mine i told satan get be behind joy today is mine peace peace is mine Peace is mine. Peace today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Peace today is mine. If you don't have peace, you don't have joy. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus, as you walk with him, he'll give you more peace, more love, and more joy. Peace is mine. Peace is mine. Peace today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Peace today is mine. Give me healing. Healing is mine. Healing is mine. Healing today is mine. I told Satan, get the behind, feeling today is mine. Deliverance, deliverance is mine. Deliverance is mine. Deliverance today is mine. I told Satan, get the behind, deliverance today is mine. 
no, 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 do me like the Lord, can't nobody do me like Jesus, he my friend. Can't nobody do me like Jesus, can't nobody do me like the Lord, no, 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 nobody, no, 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 nobody. Can't nobody do me like Jesus, can't nobody do me like Lord, no, 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 nobody, no, 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 nobody. Uh... 
put them down. I feel better than I used to since I laid my burden down. Oh, gosh, she shall my hood and my knee shoulder. Oh, hallelujah. Laying those burdens down is the only way I make it through. So much crazy stuff going on in the world. Hallelujah. And sometimes the victories are so few and far between. But when you lay the burdens at the feet of Jesus Christ, he gives you the strength to keep on going. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is all the world to me. Jesus is all the world to me, my life, my joy, my all in all, is my strength from day to day, without him. I would fall when I am sad. To him I go. No other one can cheer me so. When I am sad, he make me glad. He my best friend, Lord Jesus. Jesus is all the world to me. My friend in trial so I go to him for blessing and he give them all and all. Sends the sunshine and the rain. He said, and the harvest golden grain. Sunshine and rain, harvest of grain. He, he is, he is my friend. Jesus is all the world to me, and true to him I will be. Oh, how could I this friend deny when he's so true to me? Following him, I know I'm right. He watches o'er me day and night. Following him by day and night. And that's the best place to be, following Jesus all the time. He, he is, he is my friend. Hallelujah. Jesus is all the world to me. I want no better friend. I trust him now. I trust him when. Life's fleeting days shall end. Beautiful life with such a friend. Beautiful life that has no end. Praise your Lord that death is just born in heaven. Hallelujah. As long as I'm following you. Oh, gosh, she shall my hold on my knee. Eternal life, eternal joy. Lord.
says then the 70 returned with joy saying Lord even the demons are subject to us in your name and isn't that wonderful when we can bring deliverance to somebody when we can get that person set free so that they can experience God's joy and peace oh in Jesus Christ but listen to what the Lord Jesus said our greatest joy isn't about serving our greatest joy is just enjoying the Lord Jesus. It says, verse 18, And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. And those serpents and scorpions represent in the spirit realm evil powers, demonic powers, and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. And we know that even if something happens to our body, hallelujah, when we're protected by the Lord Jesus, when we're trying to follow him, nothing can hurt our spirit or our soul. And listen to this, verse 20. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The greatest miracle, the greatest blessing, is salvation and it's a miracle because in our natural flesh our natural tendency hallelujah is not to want to follow god is not to want to follow the lord jesus is not to want to submit to god's will but when the lord jesus comes and you give your heart to the lord jesus and you say lord change me oh a miracle occurs and that's called salvation hallelujah hallelujah you're transformed Oh, hallelujah. It's not in my notes, but I'm going to go there. Believe it's 2 Corinthians 3.17. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 3.17. Very familiar scripture. No, it's not that one. Maybe it's 1 Corinthians. Hallelujah. What am I thinking about here? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become brand new. Hallelujah. Which is such a powerful scripture. Hallelujah. And I know it's in the word of God. I thought it was 2 Corinthians. Praise the Lord. Any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. 
Old things are passed away. All things have become brand new. Hallelujah. 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 Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Just looking for this. There it is. The 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. That's a miracle. You're transformed. Just like it says in John chapter 3, which is also not in my notes. I'm going to go there. All right, the new birth. Nicodemus comes to Jesus. And... He, Jesus says in verse 7, well, verse 3, because, you know, first Nicodemus comes with compliments about Jesus' ministry, and Jesus knows what Nicodemus is really trying to find out. And he, he, instead of listening to these compliments, he just goes right to the chase, and Jesus answered verse 3 and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, hallelujah, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? So see, it's a miracle. Because we can't enter into our mother's womb a second time. It's a miraculous spiritual transformation. Salvation is a miraculous spiritual transformation. Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, Unless one is born of water, which is coming out of the, the mother's womb, you know, the water is broken, and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. Hallelujah. So the spirit, right? And then... Verse 9, Nicodemus answered and, and said to him, How can these things be? And so it says here, verse 16, that's where that famous verse is about people that people share oftentimes when they're witnessing to others about Jesus Christ, the good news about Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. That ever whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. So if we believe in him, that miracle occurs, that miracle of salvation occurs. Hallelujah. We get everlasting life. You don't have to be afraid of death. I'm afraid of suffering for me and my family. And I'm not afraid. I trust the Lord. But that's what I don't want to happen, have happen, right? I want to go when it's my time to go. I'm old and I've done you know, see my children grow and participated with my grandchildren and, and my parents have already gone on before me. I don't want to go early in the sense that, of course, for God, nothing is early or late, but I want to, that, that's my, my goal, and I'm not seeking physical pain or those kind of things. But if I have to go through, hallelujah, I'm going to go through praising the Lord because I know that I'm saved. Hallelujah. Oh, I have so many songs in my spirit today. But in any case, again, the point is, the greatest miracle is salvation. It's salvation. Hallelujah. As followers of the Lord Jesus, it's true that God has works for us to do. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. Just like we just read, if you believe in the Lord Jesus, hallelujah. If you believe in the Lord Jesus, Whoever believes in him shall not perish. Amen? So we've been saved through that belief. Hallelujah. Through faith. It's by grace. It's an unmerited favor, unmerited gift, something you didn't deserve. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. So we can't show off and say, well, I did all of these good things, and that's why I'm going to heaven. That's not the case. Those good things you do, the obedience that you you show to the Lord how you obey him, that will determine your rewards in heaven, but that's not what gets you to heaven. Verse 10 says, For we are his workmanship, 
created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So yes, God wants us to do good works. However, the best part of life, and that's what I want to get to, people are often very restless, including in the body of Christ. They're always looking for something else, something new, some new revelation, and they, they're always restless and not appreciating what they already have. And I'm here to tell you today, by the Spirit of God, the best part of life is not ministry and it's not service. Because ministry, what else, what essentially is ministry? Serving others, whether that be the Lord directly or people. The best part of life is enjoying God's presence and His Word. Hallelujah. So we're going to go back to Luke chapter 10, verse 38. And it says, now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary. Hallelujah. Oh, Who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. So Martha was very busy, right? She was serving. She was in the ministry, getting things ready for the Lord, and for, for being there with them. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, sometimes we have so many things we're trying to do. But what is really needed is the question. He said, but one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her. So what was the good part? To sit at Jesus' feet and hear his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Father, and we thank you, Lord, that the best part is just enjoying your presence and your word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You wanted to stay or you wanted to go? My eye hurts. Your eye hurts? Okay, well, let's pray for your eye. Father God, we praise you. We thank you. I've got my, my little one here supporting the service. And she just wants prayer for her eye. Lord God, touch that eye. Any pain, hallelujah, is not too hard for you to heal, Lord God. And we just pray right now. She's worshipped you today. She's been faithful, Lord God. She's even sitting through this service, Father God, supporting me as her earthly father. And I just pray you touch her eye and make her feel all better. Remove the symptoms and the causes of this pain. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You feel better, Gabriela? Okay, keep your eyes closed and I'll look at it after the service, okay? Praise the Lord. So, in any case, it says here, the good part is being with the Lord Jesus. The good part is enjoying his word. Hallelujah. Psalm 1611. I love this verse. It says, you will show me the path of life. Hallelujah. The path of life. Really experiencing, enjoying life. And enjoying life is just being with the Lord. Amen. It's fun to go on fancy vacations and see neat things and neat places, but the best place is just being with the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Like it says here, in your presence, hallelujah, is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Oh, hallelujah. So that's the best part of life. 
And a lot of people are missing out on that. Hallelujah. So how do you get to enjoy more and more of that best part of life? It's really simple. But at the same time, you've really got to make an effort, a, an intentional effort to not let life's cares and all the busyness of this life choke out the best part of life. Those blessings, those main blessings that God has given you. And you know that we have our family, our loved ones, we have food, we have clothes, we have so many blessings. But the best part is just the Lord Jesus. So I'm not going to make this very, it's not very complicated. And this message isn't very long. In our Spanish service, we have this week some powerful testimonies. Hallelujah. So, I, and I also just felt led to just praise the Lord for what happened in the Supreme Court with the, with the abortion case. I don't even want to talk, say the name of that case anymore. Amen. That was overturned because it was such a horrible thing that happened in the United States for so long. But how do we get to enjoy more and more of the best part of life? Number one, spend time daily in God's word. Every day, right? We know this as followers of Jesus, that we should be doing this, that we should be reading the Bible. And it's really easy when you think about it. You can do a devotional, and a devotional is just a Bible study. They've got apps. They've got so many different ways. If you go to the Bible app, my wife does that. She does a whole bunch of electronic Bible studies. But if you're old school like me, and it's good to be old school sometimes because you really get to, you know, find out the order of the books in the Bible and, and you know, you're able to handle this Bible. If your phone breaks, you know what to do. Amen? But from one big number to the next big number, just read a chapter. Write down one verse that touched you. You know, I add to that writing a prayer down, like a, a little paragraph. That's, this is the verse that touched me, and then this is the verse or verses that touched me, and then this is the, the you know, I make a prayer. God, you know, change me in this, this way and that way based on this verse. Because it's always good when you go to the Bible to look for God to change you. Hallelujah. Because his word will transform you. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Hebrews 4.12, it says, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hallelujah. So it is living and powerful. It will change your life. Hallelujah. Joshua 1 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. So, constantly speaking life, constantly speaking in accordance with what the Bible says. But you shall meditate it, meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous. And then you will have good success. So getting this word in you, thinking about it, speaking it, speaking in agreement with it, hallelujah, and doing what it says, right? So spending time constantly in the word, right? The way we live is a reflection of whether or not we are spending time in the word of God. Hallelujah. And praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So spending time in the word daily is very important, right? Just like Mary was at the feet of Jesus listening to his word. Oh, hallelujah. The other thing is continually, oh, that's right. When you speak, if you're having trouble, see, because that's the other piece of this. If you're having trouble with any part of that, if you're having trouble spending time in the Word, if you're having trouble 
doing, living according to the word, if you're having trouble speaking in agreement with the word, go to Philippians 4, 6. Philippians 4, 6 is, I think, part of 1 John 1, 9, they call it, the, I've heard it called the, the spiritual first aid, talking about if we confess our sin, God is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But I think Philippians 4, 6 is also like first aid for the Christian in the spirit. It says, be anxious for nothing, hallelujah, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So when you start to feel anxious, when you start to feel distracted, when you see that you're not able to maybe speak in agreement with the word of God or to meditate on the word of God, then you take that to the Lord in prayer. Take it to God in prayer in Jesus Christ's name, and he will give you that peace. I tell you, this week, like especially yesterday, there were many things that happened this week. And even with the good news about that case in the Supreme Court. There were other things that were not good news, and there was just so many emotions floating through my body and stress at work, and I just, I just felt anxious. And this morning, I went to God in prayer, and there's going to be times, hallelujah, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. There's going to be times when we do weep. There's going to be times when we do feel anxiety, but the point is not to stay there. I, I couldn't pray like I would normally shut myself in, of course, at work. I had to deal with work, but God gave me the strength to get through that situation. And then this morning, for the glory of God, hallelujah, I got to spend my alone time with the Lord Jesus. And he made it all right. Yeah, Psalm 35. Psalm 30, verse 5. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy, hallelujah, comes in the morning. So that's very important. Sometimes people say, well, I don't, I don't know how to study the word. Well, ask the Lord to have bless you to study it and to really get something out of it. Hallelujah. So that's the one thing. Spend time in the word daily. Two, and spending time reading one chapter, writing one verse, maybe writing a paragraph about it, that might take you 10, 15 minutes. And it will make all the difference in your life. You'll grow spiritually so much. Oh, hallelujah. I wish that when I was a baby Christian, some would have, someone would have told me about doing my Bible study. I would have grown so much faster. I would go to church all every Sunday. And then when I went to churches where they had in, you know, service during the week, I'd go during the week. But I would have grown so much faster if I would have known about doing my own personal Bible study. Second point I want to share with you all to enjoy more and more of the best part of life is continually pray, is continually praising God. That is so important because praise, hallelujah, is the way we get into his presence. Psalm 22 3 says, but you are holy, which means he is clean for people. That means that we're set apart for God's use. But holy for God means he's perfect, he's clean, he's spotless, no blemish, hallelujah, and thrown in the praises of Israel. So where does God live? Where is his throne? In the praises of Israel. In the Old Testament, Psalms, the Psalms are an Old Testament book, hallelujah, many of them written by King David. So enthroned in those praises of Israel, Israel in the Old Testament represents God's people. Oh, gosh, so she shall and it is important, oftentimes when people think about praise, or they think about praise and worship, they think about music. Praise is not limited to singing. Some of my best prayer times are actually when I'm laying down, when I'm on, in the bed or on a couch, hallelujah, just spending time alone with the Lord Jesus. And I'm the kind of person, I'll send him hugs, I'll get a pillow, send him hugs, send him kisses, hallelujah, and I'll go there, hallelujah. If you go to Matthew chapter 28, it's not in my notes, but it's just the best place to be. Just to know, like, sometimes we don't get all of the affection, or aren't able to give all of the affection that we would like. You know, we, we just want a hug. Amen? And you know, 
the Holy Spirit will come and give you a touch you on the head and it's like having a massage and then it is a massage but it's from the Holy Spirit but how is that biblical to send Jesus a hug I'll show you Matthew chapter 28 hallelujah Matthew chapter 28 verse 9 and this is after Jesus Christ was resurrected the women were going to tell his, his disciples and as they went to tell his disciples, verse 9, Behold, Jesus met them, saying, Rejoice! Hallelujah! So why are they rejoicing? Because Jesus is alive, and we have the promise of eternal life, and we're going to spend it with him forever in heaven. So they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. They came and held him by the feet. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. He didn't push them away. He didn't reject them. Hallelujah. He wanted, you know, they held him by the feet. That's that's hugging his feet. Amen. And if you go to Luke chapter 7, it's one of my favorite passages of the Bible. Hallelujah. I don't even know if I'm gonna share these nuggets, these treasures from the Word of God during Spanish service this week, because we have those testimonies and there's just so much to, to do. Amen. But I'll share it with you all because we do have a little bit of extra time. So what happens here? It says here, chapter 7, Luke 7, 36. Then one of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him. And he went to the Pharisee's house and sat down to eat. And behold, a woman in the city who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask, alabaster was very costly, a fragrant oil, and stood at his feet behind him weeping. And she began to wash his feet with her tears and wiped them with her, the hair of her head. And she kissed his feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And anointed them with fragrant oil. And Jesus answered and said to him, to the, to the Pharisee, to this religious leader, Simon, I have something to say to you. So he said, teacher, say it. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors, one owed 500 denarii and the other 50. And when they had nothing with which to repay, he freely forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him more? This is why we can't judge people. You don't know what's in their heart. Instead of judging people, we should pray for them. Simon answered and said, I suppose the one whom he forgave more. And he said, you have rightly judged. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet. But she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore, I say to you, her sins, which are in, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to him whom little is forgiven, the same loves, whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. In verse 50, hallelujah. Then he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. So see, you can even send kisses to the Lord Jesus. Just like that woman kissed his feet. Just like the women kissed, hugged him. And I don't care that I'm a man sending hugs and kisses to a man. Amen? Because it's not a, anything romantic. It's not anything like that. It's it's like a, a father and a child. Something totally pure and something totally holy. Hallelujah. just want to talk about praising God when you're laying down. Praising God in different ways because people always think it's about singing. 
Psalm 63 verse 3 says, because your loving kindness is better than life. Right? There's a song by Kirk Franklin. It's one of my favorite songs. Savior more than life to me. Hallelujah. You are the joy and air I breathe. No other lover shall there be that makes my spirit sing. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the presence of the Spirit of God. Hold me close. Don't let me go. You're the best friend I'll ever know. That's why I love you so more than life to me. Because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. See, for me, the Lord doesn't have to do anything else for me. For me to love him forever. For me to praise him forever. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, it's wonderful to get answers to prayer. But that's not the main reason why I praise him. I praise him because he saved me. I praise him because he's taking me to heaven. I praise him because he spends time with me every day. Hallelujah. That when I come and want to spend time with him, he spends time with me. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. Oh, hallelujah. And his son, his Holy Spirit, the third person of the Godhead, to live in me and to walk with me. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. For those people who think, oh, lifting up hands is strange. That's biblical. Strange is not lifting up your hands. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. I don't need anything else to satisfy me but Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 And my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. Oh, hallelujah. And this is the key. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. So you can sing to him, yes, but you don't have to. You can be on your bed. Hallelujah. Sending him those hugs and kisses and meditating on him in the night watches. Hallelujah. So I just urge you, enjoy the best part of life. Oh, hallelujah. Because even as you grow from glory to glory, according to 2 Corinthians, hallelujah, 3, chapter 18. Oh, hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 3, chapter 18. Oh, hallelujah. Says, but we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. So even as you're going from glory to glory, Enjoy the journey, enjoying the best part of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, which is enjoying God's presence and God's word. Hallelujah. Now to have that transformation happen and get the Holy Spirit in you and be able to enjoy the best part of life, you have to have the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Just praise you, Father. I praise you, Lord Jesus. John 14, 6 says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 1 John 2, 23 says, Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son, oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, acknowledges, he who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. That's why I always like to say the name of Jesus Christ, because if you've got Jesus Christ, you've got the Father too. Hallelujah. And of course, you've also got the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Christ. Oh, hallelujah. So how do you get that relationship, that personal relationship with Jesus Christ and get to be able to enjoy the best part of life? Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, hallelujah, you shall be saved. Oh, hallelujah. And of course, Acts 17, 30 says, God wants us to repent. So we've got to go away from what's bad and go toward what's good. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I just feel the presence of the Spirit of God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah just means praise the Lord. Oh, God, so she shall have a hold on the money. Have shown that. 
I said Hebrew means praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, of course, Matthew 24, 13, one of the most important verses in the Bible. He who endures to the end shall be saved. So when you say this confession of faith, hallelujah, you need to start getting in the word. We're going to say a confession of faith, a prayer of salvation. But don't leave there. Don't stay. Don't stop there. You got to get in the word like I was talking about. You got to be in prayer, getting in God's presence. Prayer can just be the finest communication with God. And Hebrews chapter 10 is very, very important. Hallelujah. You've got to ask God to find you a church. Oh, hallelujah. It says here, Hebrews 10, 24. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more so at, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. I praise you and I thank you, Father. So we're going to say this confession of faith together so we can enjoy that best part of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Gabriela? Let's say this prayer, and then I'm going to ask you to go and get Mommy and Destiny, okay? Because I need their help. Amen? Okay, so please repeat with me, because the Bible says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, you have to confess with your mouth. So repeat with me. Father God. Father God. Thank you. Thank you. For sending Jesus Christ. For sending Jesus Christ. To die for me. To die for me. And thank you. And thank you. For raising him. For raising him. From the dead. From the dead. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I confess you. I confess you. As my Savior. As my Savior. And my Lord. And my Lord. Father. Father. Bless me. Bless me. To be. To be. More like. More like the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. Every day. Every day. And bless me. And bless me. To enjoy. To enjoy. Being in his word. Being in his world. Being in your word. Being in your word. In your word. And being in your presence. And being in your presence. Keep me. Keep me. Always by your side. Always by your side. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. I pray. I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, Gabriela, if you could help me and go get Mommy and Destiny, okay? Because I need their help. Hallelujah. So, praise the Lord. If you accepted the Lord Jesus for the first time, Oh, gosh, she shambahur namani has shown that. During this service, we would love to hear about that. Hallelujah. Or if you come back to the Lord, or if you've been blessed by this service, we would love to hear about that. Praise the Lord. We can also um, lift up your prayers. Lift up your prayers requests. And also, if you need a Bible, free Bible for your, your personal use, we can help you with that as well. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So now we are going to um, get into our intercession. Hallelujah. Uh, before we close up the service. So I just, I just rejoicing right now. But we do want to, we do want to pray. Hallelujah. Okay. So Destiny, if you could come, okay. I'm gonna need your help. Hallelujah. Um, gonna pray as before we close the service and before we take up our offering even. Hallelujah. For the things that the church is fasting about. We already prayed about um, the pro-life situation, but we're gonna pray for some other things. So Father God, we praise you and we thank you right now. Father God, you see that this tie, Lord God, I put on the light blue and yellow of Ukraine, Father God. Hallelujah, 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 
Hallelujah. I praise you, Holy Spirit, for touching me right now. I pray you pray through us right now. That this war would cease, Father God. Hallelujah. 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 That this war would cease, Father God. And Ukraine will come out victorious, Father God. Victorious. A democratic, free nation, Lord God. Hallelujah. At least until the rapture, Lord God. We know when the, the rapture comes, the Antichrist will rule over the whole world. Hallelujah. But until then, Lord God, we ask for a free democratic Ukraine, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. With the maximum amount of territory possible within your will and the maximum joy possible, Lord God. We don't want any more bloodshed, Father God. But we also don't want to appease the Russians, Father God. We praise you and we thank you, Father God. Oh, God, so she shall behold on the money has shown that. Oh, God, so she shall behold on the money has shown that. Oh, God, so she shall behold on the money has shown that. Father God, you also know, Lord God, hallelujah, that we have terrible violence in the United States. We had the situation in Uvalde, the massacre in Uvalde, Texas, Lord God. We had the massacre in upstate New York and Buffalo, Lord God. And we're praying, Father God, that you would replace this culture of violence, Lord God. Oh, God, this culture of violence, Lord God. Hallelujah. With your peace, Father God. A peace in which, hallelujah, every life is respected, Father God. The lives of the babies in the womb, Lord God. The lives, hallelujah, of the people who are terminally ill, Father God. The lives, Lord God. The terminally ill, Father God. The lives of the people who are elderly, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, we're crying out to you, Lord God. That you would make there be peace in our schools. Hallelujah. Peace in our streets. Oh, God. We need you, Father God. We need you, Lord, more than ever before, Father God. And we pray that the racism that caused the massacre in Buffalo, God, will be replaced, hallelujah, with the love of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, we pray, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, that that violence in the Lord God, will be replaced by the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, we pray, Father God, for gun reform, gun control laws, Lord, that make sense. Hallelujah, that don't take people's rights, but at the same time, the stuff that just, just makes sense, Lord God. Hallelujah, like, hallelujah, like making people wait till at least 21 to buy some of these weapons, Father God. What do teenagers have to do with these weapons unless they're in the military fighting, Lord God? Father God, we praise you and we thank you, Lord God. And now, Lord God, we want to lift up, hallelujah, our church, Lord God. We need your help, Father God. We need a new location for our meeting place, Father God. We praise you for the place that you've given us now. Lord God, I've heard of churches that have shut down because of COVID. And Lord God, our church, Abundant Love, we've weathered the storm, at least up to now. Bless Abundant Love to last, at least until the rapture. When the rapture comes, I pray the whole church go up and be with you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But at least until the rapture, Father God, bless us to be there for your glory, advancing your mighty kingdom, Father God. Oh, God, Father God, and bless us with that meeting place that you have for us, Lord God. Hallelujah. That's, I know you blessed us now, but we want 24 days, 24 hours, 7 days a week, Father God. Hallelujah. To be able to do different things for your glory, Lord God. Father God, I also want to ask you, especially for all the sick, all the people battling illness, because they're not sick in Jesus Christ's name. We have claimed their healing, Father God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. But we do cry out to you for those who have been battling illness, Lord God. 
and there's some that are in the fasting list, and there's some that are on my personal prayer list. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, the longest possible life for each one, Lord God. I pray you cover them with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and that every single one of them goes to heaven. They will not leave this earth without you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Holy Spirit. We pray right now. Hallelujah. For some of them, Lord, that come to mind. For Carmine, Lord God. Just cover Carmine. Cover Taylor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cover Ken. Oh, hallelujah. Cover Judy. Cover Paul. Oh, hallelujah. Cover me. Cover Gabriela, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Cover Maria, Lord God. Cover my mom, Reverend Mary, Lord God. Cover Juana Orena, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Cover Janice, Lord God. Cover Marcy Davis, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Cover Rusty, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Cover Aide. Cover Hirlesa, Lord God. Father God, cover all of the people, Lord God. You know there's people I'm forgetting right now, Lord God, but cover them all with the precious blood of Jesus Christ in spirit, soul, and body. Oh, hallelujah. Rebuke all sickness in our life, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bind good health and well-being to us, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. And loose all sickness and cast it away to the abyss. And don't let those spirit of infirmity, Lord God, bother anybody else, Father God. Jesus Christ's name we pray. Hallelujah. 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 And thank you for giving us the strength to keep fasting, to keep praying, Father God. Bless us to be a Genesis 1, 32, 26 church that doesn't let you go until you bless us, Father God. Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So now we are going to take up an offering. If you've been blessed, hallelujah, to... By this service, by this ministry, and the Lord puts on your heart to give a monetary offering, hallelujah, you can give by cash app, Zelle, check, money, order, or cash. There's instructions for giving the donations on our Facebook page and also at AbundantLoveChurch.us under the instructions for virtual services tab. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So I'm going to say a prayer over the offering, sing an offering song, and then we'll pray to close the service hallelujah so father god i pray that you would just bless every single person that has participated in this service lord god i pray father god that you would bless every single person that has participated in this service and father god i pray hallelujah that you would do according to 3 John 2. Beloved, I, I desire that you prosper in all things and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Bless us to prosper our soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that you could bless us to be in good health and that our soul would prosper, Father, and that we, be, and that we would be blessed in all things, Father God. And I praise you for the best blessing which is just being in your word and in your presence. Hallelujah. And I pray, Lord God, that you would bless everybody who participated in the service today to really engrave that truth on their heart and know that we already have the best blessing as followers of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So again, we have the best blessing in life. We have Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And so we're going to sing the song. It's another day, journey and night. 
I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. It's another day journey and I'm, I'm glad about it. I'm so glad to be here. And it's the main reason why. Well, I got the Lord Jesus and I, I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Well, I got the Lord Jesus and I, I'm glad about it. I'm so glad to be here. In the Word. Well, I got the Holy Bible and I, I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Well, I got the Holy Bible and I, I'm glad about it. I'm so glad to be here. Well, I got the Holy Spirit and I, I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Well, I got the Holy Spirit and I, I'm glad about it. I'm so glad to be here. Well, I got my friends and loved ones and I, I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Well, I got my friend and loved one. I'm glad about it. I'm so glad to be here. Well, I've got legs to walk with, and I'm, I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Well, I got legs to walk with, and I'm, I'm glad about it. I'm so glad to be Got a mouth to praise with, and I, I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Well, I got a mouth to praise with, and I, I'm glad about it. I'm so glad to be here. Well, I got food to eat, and I. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Well, I got food to eat, and I, I'm glad about it. I'm so glad to be here. Well, I got a roof above me, and I, I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Well, I got a roof above me and I, I'm glad about it. I'm so glad to be here. Well, I got my church and I, I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Well, I got my church and I, I'm glad about it. I'm so glad abundant love is still here. Hallelujah. Oh, God, so she shall my whole and my knee has shown that. Oh, God, so she shall my whole and my knee has shown that. Oh, hallelujah. Praise you, Father. We praise you, Father. I praise you, Father God, for this time. Hallelujah. In your presence and in your word. Oh, God, so she shall my whole and my has shown that. Again, cover us all, Father God, in spirit, soul, and body. Oh, hallelujah, with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And thank you for touching me, Lord. Not just touching me in my private prayer time, but touching me in this service. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. So from northern New Jersey, this is Pastor Anthony Menzel from Abundant Love Christian Church.
Have a tremendously blessed day.